back in the day, Christmas is when you rake it in. You know, right. you yeah. do all the gigs, do all the Christmas parties. <laughs> that, right? You know, oh, do yeah. all the get go drinking for free, go yeah. to all the corporate Gufkin holiday parties. Go. It's just, to me, it's like gluttony more. <gasps> Stopping recording. So yeah, what do you want to talk about today? Um, let's go. Let's start light. Let's start light. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Christmas vacation plans. What do you? What I don't do really you have any. I'm DJing um, a couple of New Year's things, but yeah, I'm not really I'm not really doing anything. I don't really celebrate Christmas that yeah. much too. I like, do like Lunar New Year. Yeah, I, I'm going to um, the island on like beginning of New Year. Okay. For like a couple days, for like four days and stuff. So I'm gonna do that. Which? I need to. I'm going to Vancouver Island. I'm going to a soup. Like, it's like an hour away from Victoria. Okay. I have like an Airbnb there. Nice. nice. Where else have you traveled since then? <laughs> Nowhere? That was it? To my brain? Yeah. I thought, I thought you went somewhere else after that. No. No, I'm like gone to like Cortez, I've gone to the island and stuff. But oh, but not to like. You haven't done any cross. No, I haven't left. The this is the kinda. longest time I haven't left the country. Okay. I was thinking about going to Taiwan, but fucking three week quarantine. Taiwan is first week hotel, second week you can do it in your private residence. Okay. But if you have family there, you have to get PCR tested, your whole family in the house every three days or something. Right, right, right. And then the last week, you can go outside for walks, but you can't go to any public arena. So you can't go to like grocery stores, can't go to restaurants, but you can like go for walks outdoors. Right. That's kind of Taiwan's style. How have the gigs been since you came back from like back DJing places? Oh, you, you've DJing. Done a, you've, you've done a couple things now, right? Yeah, it's actually interesting because I'm like, I don't post on social media, so I'm yeah. not fucking promoting. Yeah. But like, I'm just like not posting. Yeah. But it doesn't really stop me from getting booked. Yeah. I kind of only want to play for like a crowd that I I want to play for. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, I'm kind of just been a little bit more picky, mostly focusing on like the queer, queer community. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like I get to like DJ for my friends that are like go go dancing, for mm-hmm. example. Um, and it's like I don't know, it's just like feeling appreciated. I'm, I'm doing it for the culture. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> And how has the culture felt since you? Oh my god, so again? good. Yeah, I haven't DJed like in any like establishments, like bars or whatever, but just all like warehouse venues and stuff. Yeah, so then that's great. It's great, and that's that's like my that's vibe. Better. That's my vibe, anyway. So it's like that's the community that knows me, knows my values. I can get on the mic and like go on a whole rant. Yeah, and like people will accept it. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I did like the last rice cake. I was like, because they like, they were, they haven't done a show in like, fuck, like two years. You yeah. Know? It's like since COVID. Yeah. Right. It was like, it was so nice, you know? Like they sold out tickets like so, so quickly. You know, it's also just like acknowledging that like, yo, like we've been, we haven't done this in like, like this long and the world has changed a lot, yeah. you know? Like a lot of things have happened in the last like two years. <laughs> and like also just like as like queer Asian people is like we don't really get to this is such a privilege to be able to even organize and like fucking get together like this. It's yeah. like you know, just reminding people that like it's really not that long ago where like this type of shit was like illegal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally. You know, and just like reminding everyone of their political responsibility and participating in like an event like this tonight is like it's like we have to like this is we're riding on we are riding on the labor of our queer and Asian elders that have like had to fight For this sure. like like white supremacist like government before us yeah you know and I think it's just yeah, it's just important to like acknowledge that and also with all the, like the COVID and Asian, anti-Asian like violence and stuff like that that has happened in the last years. It's like, yo, like we know that it's really easy to throw us under the bus yeah. when you know shit gets hard. You yes. know, like it wasn't yeah. that, you know, when like you have like the president of the United States like li- literally saying yeah. like anti-Chinese stuff. Yeah. When there's a lot of like you know like third, fifth generation Chinese people that live in um, North America and stuff. Sure. So this is not. This is not just like a party. This is not just having fun. Like mm. this is like, right. like, uh, like political action. And then we have to 
promise that we ha are going to continue to build it because it's so easy to have this taken away. Yeah. So where can people find you if they want to find you? On the internet or elsewhere? Well, I'm going to be DJing at um, Inside Studio for... But, um, Queen DJ's Inside Studio and it's Queen's Wednesday, 20 years east. So those are the places that are available. Um, I'm also like on the internet as well, not as much. People can hit me up though, people can like DM me or email me. Usually emailing, I'm a little bit more responsive. Cool. Um, I'm also like grant coaching for Creative BC. So right now there's like a whole music company development grant that's happening right now, which is like people that have um, anything that's not live music, so any kind of like music student, like they like, you know, uh, recording or like mixing engineer or yeah. just mastering or whatever and they need to like add additional stuff to their studio, yeah. this is like grant they can apply for. Awesome. Um, so I'm also on their website, you can look me up on their website, cool. and there's like, you can book me for like grant coaching sessions and stuff. I'll post that on the Yeah, and... On the screen. Cool. And DJing some of the New Year's, like, I DJ with like, Rice Cake. Um, rice Cake New Year's? No, it's the new, Lunar New Year's. Lunar New Year's, nice. <laughs> My new year <laughs> in February. The best way to find out what I'm doing, actually, I've figured out how to explain this to people because I don't post on Instagram anymore. But if you go to my Instagram profile, yeah. um, and then you click the tab where people tag me, yeah. that's where you find out what I'm doing. Because I'm not posting anything, but yeah. people still tag me in a bunch of shit. Cool. Yeah, so okay. you can like use that to find out like what I'm up to. <laughs> All right, thanks for talking to me. Man. Yeah, of course. Appreciate it. See you later.